I play apps all the time. I never even dreamed that I would be able to make one. How soon do you need the app? By Friday. Feel the fear. Here it is. <laughs> I was like this the whole time. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The video works. I don't know how they're going to fix it. Major funding for SciGirls is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Additional funding provided by L'Oreal USA for girls in science. You can learn more at forgirlsinscience.org and by PPG Industries Foundation, committed to bringing positive impact to our communities. There's a place I go for inspiration. Gotta get to the web, check the girls' investigation. What girl? Side girls! Woo! S C I T I R L S. I need you! S C I T I R L S. Come on! We got log on, post, uh -huh. upload, pitch in! Yeah! Wanna get inside a world that's fascinating? The time is right, the cycles are waiting! seem to keep track of anything. What are you looking for exactly? My keys? Um, they're right there. Did I leave them in the door again? I do that sometimes. No, right there, under that book. Clean living for the mega messy. That's where that book is. Man, I couldn't find that either. Yeah, I can tell. I'm also missing my lucky hairnet, my picture book of the woods after Bigfoot passed through, and my BB of ABC gum. BB what ABC? Big ball of already been chewed gum. Ugh, my jaw aches just thinking about all those chewing hours going to waste. <gasps> and Fang. I can't find Fang! Maybe I can help you get a little more, um, organized? That would be so awesome. Fang, where are you? Oh, I think we're gonna need the Psy Girls, too. Huh. Never gone into one of these before. Hey, it's cozy in here. I like it. Psy Girls, here I come! Okay, gotta find the right clip so Jake can find his gum. Huh. I wonder if there's an app for that. Oh, this looks about right. Watch for the arrows! They're clues for the Pick'em Stick'em game on the website. People don't understand how you can watch TV and listen to your iPod. I think it's ridiculous. You listen to your music very, very quietly while watching TV and eating ice cream. Hi, I'm Naeli. I live in San Francisco and I'm a side girl. What are you playing, Tammy? Top of a run. Me too! Yeah. My name is Tammy and I'm 13. For fun, I like to play in parks with my dog and play catch with friends. Want to see what I'm playing? My name is Sarah, I'm 14 years old. Living here, it's really hilly. <laughs> I play apps all the time. I never even dreamed that I would be able to make one. As your village gets bigger, you get more smurfs. I'm McKenna and I'm 13 years old and we are famous for our earthquakes. Earthquakes are quite scary because the ground shifts and everything moves around and you don't really know what's going on. It's kind of weird at first because everything around you is shaking and that doesn't really happen on a normal basis. We just like crawl under the tables and sometimes you have to hold onto the table leg and like cover your head. It's scary, but you can like see everything shake around you. Academy of Science is having a new earthquake exhibit. Here you can see like lots of different things about different types of insects and fish and flowers and plants. We're going up to the roof. The living roof. Whoa. Whoa. When I heard that the California Academy of Sciences needed some kids to design their mobile media app for their earthquake exhibit, I decided to sign up. Hey girls! Hi! Hey! hey nice you? to meet you. I'm Pooja. And I'm Elizabeth. Pooja and Elizabeth okay. gave us an assignment. We thought we'd share with you um, a couple of the things that we want the app to include. Well, app is short so for one. application. They're sort of games that you can download onto an iPad, iPhone, or any device that you have. The app had to be about the Loma Prieta earthquake. 
we thought it would be great if you could include some personal narratives of people who lived through that experience. The mobile media app had to include a personal story, some information about the San Andreas Fault, and how the type of soil and architecture make the difference during the quake. We'd like the game to take place in the marina district, so after people come here for the earthquake exhibit, they can go out there and play, play the game and, and explore the app. To make this app, you're going to be using a program called Eris. They gave us an iPad, and on the iPad, there's this program called Eris. There is someone that we've worked with before, Kimberly Bryant, who has actually made an app about Golden Gate Park, and we've got that game on this uh, iPad for you, so you should go out and play that before you get started. How soon do you need the app? Well, we'd love to hear your ideas by tomorrow afternoon. And then we'd love to see a final product by Friday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Feel the fear. <laughs> We're walking to the conservatory to play an Eris game. Eris is a platform for making and playing mobile media apps. You are beginning a quest to find a golden key, which is hidden somewhere in the Golden Gate Park. Good luck. It can be played on iPod, iPad, or iPhone. Almost to the start of the game, it's somewhere around here. We have a map that we have to follow to get certain things, like a message or a key. So the blue dot is us, and it's taking us to where we need to go. Yeah, we're almost at the welcome message. Welcome message. Oh, 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 oh I got it. Pick, Pick it up. You will be guided on this quest by a famous Californian woman of science. Travel north towards the conservatory to meet her and to receive your next clue. It's kind of like a quest, you know? You'll go one place, grab an item, go to another place and grab an item. But when I say item, I don't mean like, you know, there's something there for you, like literally there. Like It's something made up. It will kind of like detect where you are. So when you get there, you will receive the item. Oh, oh we're here. Hello, my name is Julia Morgan. I was born in 1872. I be the history is basically a clue to each of the different keys that you need to get. They'll tell you about what happened, and then you have to go out and find something that was significant to the person. I love flowers. Please show me what's in bloom by uploading a pretty picture to receive a clue for the next step on your journey. Um, what do we want to name it? Flower. Yeah. What a journey. It was quite fun. Hi, girls. How are you today? Kimberly, who works with computers, came to help us plan our app and like decide on what kind of things we were going to do for it. I'm an IT project manager, and I work with companies that need an application. Since Kimberly created the game that we played, I think she'll be able to tell us exactly how and what we're supposed to do. Tell me a little bit about the overall assignment and the scope of really what you're trying to put together. California Academy of Science wanted us to design an app where the visitors can, after the earthquake exhibit, they can then go to the marina district and try to live it through an app. But there's a twist to it. Mm -hmm. It has to be completed by Friday. This Friday? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> OK, I think we could do that. So we're going to come up with a very simple app. Then we'll test it out with each other, and we'll all make sure that all the kinks are out of it. Then we'll come back and look at that feedback, make changes to it, and we'll start the process all over again. Eris has a few tools that you'll use to build your game. All the characters, all the items, all the plaques and objects, you can think of them as puzzle pieces that come together to make the full story that comes into your game. So it should be in the Marina District. Yeah, we want to kind of have them walk around there, find out about it. The process of designing the app is like identifying what you want to do. The player will be a journalist. Planning it. Maybe they could collect some pictures or something. And then making the app, testing it, going out to see what people think about it so that you get feedback. And then if it's like not where you want it to be, you like work on it again and do the process over and over. So if the boss is giving me a time, you can make it that way, probably. Hi, I'm Nayali. I'm 12 years old. I like to play softball. I paddle outrigger canoes. This is my Costco ukulele. My very best friend that I've had for... <laughs> I also play the ukulele. In four hours, we're, we are giving um, Elizabeth and Pooja the ideas, and we're definitely nervous because we're not 100% sure of what we're doing. We decided to just do it around one block so that people wouldn't have to walk too far, and they could get to know the block a little bit better and all the damage that happened to that one place. 
Let's still start at the school first. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then so it just has a little plaque like reading out, everyone went here for shelter. The first thing, a screen will pop up and say, you are now an intern for a TV show and you want to become a journalist. I think the most challenging thing was to like get all our ideas together to come together and become like a real game that's like whole instead of just like little pieces everywhere. These are, they're like acting as like what you're collecting. You see the house, like this house, you take a picture of how it is now so they can like compare it and see like how different it is now. Like what different things they did to like reinforce the structure. Maybe instead of the question is like, I wonder what happened here, and then Jennifer Donahue answers that question to like, you. Like, what happened where, and then she has to... It's just for the person to see the before and after of... Did the before and after picture be like on top of each other? I think the before pic... I think it's good the way it is. Okay. So the boss is like, oh my god, good job, and then he gives you a promotion. Uh, and... Are you guys nervous? I'm nervous. No. So everything, really. everybody keeps adding things. Like, what if something goes terribly wrong? What if a meteor hits the Earth right now? Hi, girls. Hi, Hi. Hi ladies. Good to see you again. Good to too. see you too. I was worried they wouldn't really like our ideas. We're gonna give you a demo walkthrough of the game. That sounds, sounds great. Sounds great. The name of our app is Earthquake Time Machine. You are a TV journalist intern, and the boss gives you a mission you have to go on, and you need to find all these different things and then come back and give it to them. A plaque pops up, and the plaque is of the school. It tells you it was used as a shelter. The school receptionist, she left you a note saying, I heard you guys needed a video, and she's gonna tell you go to North Point and Scott. Michael Woody comes up. I heard that you need my video if you can add it to your inventory. And Michael Woody tells you to go to Beach and Scott. You will run into Rebecca Peters. She'll tell you the personal story that she has. Once Destroyed House will sort of pop up. And then Jennifer Donahue's picture, she'll pop up and telling you about the soil geology, how it was built. And then after she tells you that, she'll end up asking for a picture of the house now and what it looks like. So you can see the difference. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thing will pop up saying report back to your boss. And your boss is like, oh my gosh, good job. And then he gives you a promotion and then it's the end. <laughs> I great. like it. I think it went pretty well because we only had so little time. So we kind of got through everything and we kind of got the blueprint of how we're going to make the app. Well, Elizabeth and Pooja put us in touch with Jennifer Donahue, who is a geotechnical engineer. Hi, are you Jennifer Donahue? I am. It's nice Hi. to meet you. Nice we asked Jennifer why the Marina District was hit so hard. Well, first off, there's two different types of soil that are here. Uh, we have some that's very loose that goes towards the bay and a lot that's stronger as we go towards the hills. Right now, we're standing on Beach Street, and this used to be where the beach was in 1852. Since then, they've pushed all types of sand and other material there so that they can build houses. When you have a large earthquake and you have an area where you have a loose sand, the sand particles try to rearrange themselves and that can liquefy the soil. When the soil liquefies, the sand grains are very loose and then people go and they build their house on them. And then an earthquake comes along and this is what happens. All those sand grains, when they compress down, they push the water out that was between all the sand grains. So that's all the water that you saw coming up. And then during that process of the sand grains moving around, that's when the house settled in. So that's what soil liquefaction is. Well, we videotaped Jennifer because it's a little bit harder to just read the text and understand it. We thought if we could have like someone talking to you, kind of have a visual of it, people would maybe pay more attention, not get as bored. Tammy and I went to go get information on the house that got destroyed and Sarah and Nayeli went to go take a picture of the school. Got it. We are going to interview Rebecca Peters because she had the personal story that we needed. Hi. Hi, how are you? Three, two, one. 
I was getting ready to leave work at Levi Strauss and Company. Rebecca had a really great story to tell. You know, it gave you the emotion. And she yelled down the hall, don't get in the elevator, there's an earthquake. A couple seconds later, the earthquake hit, and we could hear the elevator in the shaft hitting the shaft walls, bangity bang. And then dishes in the kitchen were coming off in waves. We were holding on to the door frame and uh, waiting for the earthquake to pass, but it seemed like it was minutes. I know it was only seconds, but it seemed like it went on forever. Thanks for helping us out. You're welcome. That's Thank great. Thank you for coming. Thanks for your help. Hi, my name is Tammy. And I'm McKenna. These are oh. my friends. That's my dad. Yeah. This is my door. It's full of my drawings. Hey, McKenna. That's my mommy. Sometimes for fun, I get golf balls. This is my donkey. Her name is Lila. Bye. When we went back to Academy, the room was very anxious, I guess you can say. We kind of want everyone to know what they were doing. Do you have any idea how? No. OK. I helped with drawing the pictures of the icons and like the people that we didn't have pic real pictures of. I'm drawing the video guy. He has a mustache, and he's a ginger. And this, this is a lot harder than we thought. That noise is when I'm restarting the game. You need to kind of make it, then check it, and again, there's going to be a noise. Check it, and then make it again, and then check it, and make it again, and check it, and make it again until you get it right. The one day we had to get it done, really, we kind of, we didn't have enough time to do it, and we weren't as focused as I think we should have been, so we ended up staying a little bit late to finish it. The team came together by splitting up the jobs, and making sure everybody knew what they're doing. We kind of pulled together and got everything almost completed. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna test out our app to see how it is, see if it works. Like you guys suggested, I made an app showing where all my stuff is in relation to where you are. Now, I need you to test drive it. At least, that's what the side girls did. So go on, find something. Uh, okay, I'll look for Fang. I don't see him. What? He was just right there. Oh, yeah. Nice move. Fang! Where are you, little buddy? Okay, so your toothbrush should be... You. Right here. Wow. That is... Not where that's supposed to come up. Uh, try finding my backpack. Mistake? Yes. Oh because I don't keep my backpack in the fridge. That would just be weird. Or your wallet, right? Because it says here you do. Oh no, it is where I keep my wallet. Oh. Sorry, girls! This is the boss. Welcome, the date is October 18th, 1980. When we were playing the app with Kimberly, I was kind of wondering if it would actually work. Like in the receptionist note, we should be like, Oh, well, I know a guy. We have people stopping halfway on the block where we want them at the corner. Change GPS range. <laughs> uh, she's upside down. She's upside down. Yes, okay, uh, <laughs> Yes. Jennifer Donnie is upside down. Our end messages weren't clear and didn't pop up. We're experiencing what we have to fix. We know what we have to fix now so that we can make it better. I think it went OK. <laughs> All four of us were on the same program trying to fix the same problems, and we didn't know what to do. I've already done it. I've saved it as a duplicate. It's not working. Uh, uh, does it matter which one it is? Not knowing what was going on with the app was highly bothersome. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, the boss's error range is 9999999999999. I don't think we can move on until we actually take the picture. Can I borrow someone's computer? Are you kidding me? I'm feeling nervous because we only have like 30 minutes left and we're not done yet. Oh my god. Everyone else is making corrections to the game and I'm testing it out to tell them what they need to work on. Okay, we have the splash page. If you go to this character first, and then you go to this character, and the boss just stays there. And so you put it at the end, it's gonna get all cluttered up like this, or what I feel is cluttered up. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Michael Woody popped up. 
I got her video. <laughs> Once you talk to a player, and then you go to the next one, the first player is gonna disappear because you don't really need them anymore. Sarah actually got the icon, the, they disappeared, so you don't go back to them. Jennifer Donahue's picture comes up perfect. Now everything's working. Very slowly coming together. No, Sarah, no, no, no. Does it, um, does it... There were some employees from the academy with their children who came to test our app. How do you like this game? What problems are you having with this game? And, and we want you to be honest about it. We don't want any like, yeah, don't be nice. So it'll pop up oh. as we get closer. This app is unlike any other app I've ever used. We thought it would be okay, and it just kind of went downhill. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, are we in the ocean? What? Let's walk closer to the corner. <laughs> I placed the list of items I want you to get in your inventory. Where's that? I don't know. We tried to do too many things to it at once, and things didn't work the right way. Like our next step after the video, it's not telling us what to do. Some things got checked off that weren't really done. I'll give it in between. It's a great app, but it could use some improvement. Thank you, Thank you for coming. I don't know how they're going to fix it. If we split up, like you and Tammy, Nyalee and Tammy go down there and play the game, and me and Sarah stay here and work on it, and we can try to fix it from here. All right. Okay. Okay. It sounds like a plan. It's cold and it's raining. And I dress for warm weather. We're about to try to test out the app and see if it works. Oh God, that scared me. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay, so did the Rebecca Peters, did she pop up in the right place? <laughs> the plaque that you guys put, it popped up too. Okay. Yeah. Ah! The Jennifer Donahue video was the one that wouldn't show up. There's this thing that you have to do, it's called you hit the restart button. You have to start over. What? Okay, wait. It felt like a race against time to get the app done. Did you also hit get video? You have to in order to get the next item. We put on the instructions, you have to hit every button that comes up, that pops up. Otherwise, you won't be able to go to the next step. So the progress this afternoon, I'm actually kind of happy about because we're 98% there with the game. The video was, I didn't exactly upload it to the right page. Oh, what I? Mother. So I had to re-upload it. When you have an earthquake. Oh, OK. The video works. I forgot to upload it. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm a Psy Girl. This is my doggie, Alistair. I love to listen to music. My record player, which I love. Just my old family photos. And most of all, I love hanging out with my friends. I love to play the guitar, and I love to draw. Bye. We are about ready to present our mobile media app to Pooja and Elizabeth. Well, I have no idea what went on inside of the office because <laughs> I was testing it. So I'm like, well, if it crashes, like words can't even express it. Tammy! Right. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you doing? Good. 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 Did you have a good day? Yeah. Yep. All right. We're so excited to see the app that you made. Okay. So this is the finished product of Earthquake Time Machine. Just dive in. Time Machine. Yeah, yes. Have fun. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Let's get going. Okay. I was really nervous about presenting to Pooja and Elizabeth because I thought the app wasn't going to work. Here we oh, here we go. Okay. Player. It was like one of those expect the worst and hope for the best moments. Into the boss. You must touch every question there is and collect every video item or you won't be able to proceed with the game. Uh-oh, I don't want that to happen. Okay. Oh, here it's loading. Oh, oh. oh my <laughs> gosh, so cool. Okay. Look at him. Look at that, all right. Loading the picture. Oh, that's a good sound. I, would say I think it's going good right? so far, but I'm kind of nervous about what might happen you know, later on. The presentation was so shocking to me. Oh, oh here, here he is. is. There, oh, oh my, my God, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, so hi, I'm Michael Woody. I shot some home video of the damage right after the quake yesterday. Felt like we were only testing like two minutes ago and all of a sudden everything was going our way. Wow. 
All right, so we have to head towards Rebecca Peters. Right. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> I love how it pops up. Don't you like how it pops up well, when I, you get to the right spot? That's so interesting that's really how they've neat. connected the GPS. I'm giving a lot of credit to Sarah and McKenna because they're the ones that fixed the app for us. <laughs> they, the girls managed to put everything from uh, geology mm -hmm. to the impact on people of earthquakes. Right. Which is one of the things that we asked for. Yep, I think we got... I think we got all the, the parts. I was like this the whole time. So they managed to find an amazing spot in the city where they could pack all this information in. Yeah. And we had a quest because we have a goal. Oh, here goes. Okay. It's a bus from a oh, yes, we, we got, got a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. Well, You're a journalist and you'll start earning a paycheck. Nice job. job. Great Good job. job. Oh, you guys. Awesome. That's oh, there's more. Awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Two paychecks. Well, like our app, come so check out the earthquake place. exhibit at the California Academy of Sciences located in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, California. That's amazing. Tell us what, what are some of the things that you learned that you... Try, try it again, even if you fail a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. And when she says a lot, she means a, a lot. lot. <laughs> I feel proud of us. We did it. I feel really happy that everything works and everything, well, almost everything works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got your clues? Head on over to the web and play pick 'em stick 'em at pbskidsgo.org. And this is where your ABC gum is. You collected everything. You get a Jake Berry. <laughs> well, you did it, Jake. You made an awesome app to track your life. I did. But I feel like there's still one more thing to find. <gasps> My smart pad! I can't find it! Can't find it! Oh, help! There's only so much science can do. So, how did it go? Oh I think it went good. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so happy for you. So am I. Yeah. <laughs> I know, really, it's so early. So like, Tell me about it. Okay, so you know how yesterday we had problems and everything? Yeah. Uh, problems. Pop up. Right. Issues. Yeah. Today, it was 100% everything worked. It's not easy to do, and you learned it all by yourself. So, <coughs> congratulations. Thank Seriously. you. Seriously. <laughs> When I multitask, I'm crocheting and I'm watching TV. We're trying to figure out how kids are multitasking. We created a survey. They listen to music while doing schoolwork. Is the quality of work lessened when you're multitasking? It's just good. a wonderful experience. Just eating the clean part. Yeah, <laughs> this year they asked us to work on the welcome shanty. I'm not gonna fit in the door. Let's, Let's go. go. I think it's going to be an interesting space to change. Good. You're crazy. Major funding for SciGirls is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Additional funding provided by L'Oreal USA for Girls in Science. You can learn more at forgirlsinscience.org and by PPG Industries Foundation, committed to bringing positive impact to our communities. Girls website is off the hook. You can set up a profile, play games, create a page for your science project, watch SciGirls videos, and have fun. So come on, be a SciGirl on pbskidsgo.org. See you there. Bye.